Attorney General Merrick Garland honoring the sacrifices of first responders with a ceremony at the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Friday. But as the country recognizes Police Week, officers nationwide say they're struggling. We simply do not have the manpower uh, to compete with these out of control events and the mass shootings and massacres. With crime expected to be a core issue in the midterms, President Biden is highlighting his investments in public safety. The Biden administration says $10 billion from the American Rescue Plan has been committed to initiatives like job training, bonuses, and violence prevention programs. Still, he's encouraging cities and states to spend more of the COVID relief money to help bring down crime. Taking action today is going to save lives tomorrow. So use the money. The strategy is a shift from calls to defund the police, a stance many progressives took in light of the Black Lives Matter movement. Our criminal justice system is fundamentally broken in this country. Despite the Democrats' attempts to move from defund to refund, a Fox News poll shows 59% of voters disapprove of the president's handling of crime, a record Republicans are poised to attack. Anti-police rhetoric has diminished morale. It has eroded public trust in our law enforcement. The president's message comes ahead of the summer months when violent crime typically spikes, raising the urgency to try and prevent it. In Washington, Malavera, Fox News.